What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here today and talking about this idea about Stu Mocker returning in the movie because the creator of the series has put this to bed once and for all. Not that that's going to stop some people. And I do think that the idea of it was fun once upon a time when I first learned about it. And I have made videos saying that yes, if it were to be done in a adequate logical way, I I'm not going to dispute anything that they would do if that were to occur. However, I don't see anything very plausible that can be done at this stage over two decades later with nobody mentioning Stumacher's whereabouts. Unless, again, you pull some very convoluted reason as to why he's still alive. People compare this to Roman and Sydney having a brother who's a film director who conveniently also just happened to land the role of the director for stab three and he used this to get to her you know people have their gripes with that you have far more issues logically i would say at this stage with the stew scenario if they were to even do that right now you have far more issues there there's just a lot of suspension of disbelief that i know they've had us go through in the series already that doing this that would be a bit of a stretch you know you have people who make this big deal about the heights and this person not being that tall and this person being too short or something like that but then something like Stu being alive this far down the road is okay i mean i don't again if it's able to be done in a very logical way yes it is okay but i don't see any logical way it can be done unless of course you're just satisfied with unanswered questions regarding one of the biggest major plot twists that they could do if they were to do that because that's what it would be but just to jump into what kevin williamson had to say in this uh collider interview when they sat down and talked to him about this rumor he said no he's dead in reference to Stu. he says he thinks that that's that rumor started because of the college scene the frat party scene because he's standing in the background he just came to visit set that night now what some people did is they chimed in to say that it actually started via the script or screenplay that kevin had wrote at one point and admittedly maybe he regrets writing that or even at the time that's his thought process at right then and there that's what he thought would be a good idea but it never actually happened and you know in a lot of ways i'm kind of glad it didn't happen but i can say this if it did happen with scream 3 i would see less of an issue with it than if it were to happen right now with scream 6 and it's not going to happen in scream 6 there is a brilliant way you can have Stu Mocker factored into Scream 6 without even having Stu Mocker be alive. There's several ways you can bring any of these characters back without making them alive again. You know, and I've even touched on having the character of Leslie Mocker be a killer in a future movie. Uh, and having Leslie kind of just unpack everything that the Mockers have been through. And then maybe while she's thinking about that, she imagines her life if her brother never died that brother of course being being Stu and we get to see her and and Matthew Lillard back as Stu Mocker no need to de-age him because she would be just imagining her life with her brother if he never got intertwined with Billy and then also taking the blame out on Billy's daughter at that point Sam taking it out on Billy's ex-girlfriend Sydney and just unpacking all the things that the Mockers have had to gone had to deal with things that they didn't deserve all because of Stu but meanwhile these are the people the survivors of it all were exploiting things they were getting they were getting famous off of it you had a whole film franchise based off of it but the mockers as a whole after the events of scream we don't really know what happened to them uh they could have been through quite a term they, they must have been through quite a lot of uh turmoil in between what happened between scream one up until now so if leslie is the ultimate final killer that i hope is the case in scream seven then you can unpack so much and that's how you could get Stu mocker back in your movie you could have a sister who is just out for out for justice out for not more so for her for her brother as much as it might even be just for her name as a mocker who knows how this could be negatively impacting her life and also because she could be blaming sam for the loss of her son vince from the fifth movie but the idea of Stu mocker being brought back and you know pulling the strings like they had it originally intended i guess for scream 3 ha doing that now i i can't see it playing out that well i i know i have also done theories in the past 
But given all of the complete context of how I could see so many different holes and things to poke at with it, I would rather they just don't do it. And Stu Mocker with the series creator saying that he's dead, I think it's safe to say that he is dead. You're not going to see him in Scream 6 back alive. You're not going to see him in Scream 7 back alive. As of now, they could easily just turn around and say, hey, you know what, Kevin, I know you said this, but this is what we want to do because it's not up to Kevin. It's just not up to Kevin at the end of the day. They could easily turn around in Scream 7 and say, you know what? Stu Mocker is actually alive and we're going to put him here. We're going to tag team him up with his sister because that's the only way I probably could find it any way remotely digestible. If you don't make him the head honcho killer, but just somebody who's involved in it. Uh, but I'm glad he came out and made this statement. Some people might be bothered by it. Some people, again, we're going to want to dispute it still. I don't have any issues with you if you think that Stu Mocker is alive. What I really have an issue with is if you, I guess, want to be overly fixated on it and then try to, uh, I mean, attack somebody else who's trying to logically explain to you why that's irrational. And then instead of, you know, just accepting how irrational it is, you then result to just being this crazy person that has this idea in your mind that this dead individual who was dead all this time ago was somehow alive and you know that it can work i just don't see it working but again i know i've made it clear if it does manage to work i'm not going to dispute it if they can find some way to work make it work then do it people have this idea that it's Stu only because of the old masks that are being used in the upcoming film you know that's probably the easiest thing they would expect you to think think of uh so that's probably too easy you should probably not think that not to say that it couldn't happen but i I just I just find it hard to believe that people would think they would give it away that easily. If it's actually Stu, I doubt they would give it away that easily. It is not Stu. If Stu appears in this movie, it will be in the form of some type of hallucination via Sam for whatever reason, even though I hope to God that doesn't happen, or something else where maybe somebody's envisioning a life where Stu Mocker still lived or something. Again, I would ideally have that happen in a Scream 7 with his sister Leslie as the killer, where she's unpacking and just unloading all of her angst and all of this aggression and frustration she's had since that first movie and how it's affected her family and now also how her son's been taken away from her and how her life has been impacted by just simply being a mocker even though her and her parents have been innocent in all of this meanwhile all of these other survivors they have been exploiting it to death they've been exploiting it getting famous all this popularity but the mockers are alienated and ostracized that could be a perfect way to have matthew little return as to mock without making him alive let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.